We can talk to Cole. Oh, even just getting to my companions is like a five mile trek now. Cassandra, Iron Bull, Sarah, I think we have left. They're also around this area. It's just what I heard. What'd you hear? I don't know. <laughs> hey Cole, how are you? Something like that. He hunts the killer, but he's the one who killed her. He can't remember. Who? The servants are having trouble remembering some odd events. Oh, wow. These are new. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Okay, and then... Is, a, is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't mind that you do it. Let's talk about something else. All right. It might be a little bit odd to people, but I guess it's I all right. I have been busy. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. The daggers were safer there? He's doing it because he wants to be helpful. He wants to help people. Let's talk about something else. All right. I feel like I asked about the plum one already. So, Cole. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Yes, yes, we heard this. And healers need something to treat infected wounds. <laughs> like spider webs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. Ah, yeah, we might not be able to directly see how it helps. But maybe if we keep uh, walking around reading entries and stuff, we'll find out more about why he's doing the thing he's doing. Because I'm pretty sure the, pl the plum conversation started with, Hey, the plums are attracting flies. It's, you know, making the place a mess. But then... Because the spiders come kill the flies, now we have spider webs, and apparently spider webs are needed for healing. So, not immediately obvious, but it's having a net positive effect, is how Cole sees it. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Because I won't leave you here. I won't. I'll come back for you. <laughs> Sutherland, see, were you around here? What did I tell you? Hi. Anything, you sure? Samson's tail. Just what I heard. New song? Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone, but he's a, a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Pay me back by working for the Inquisition. I remember you. <laughs> good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, Your Worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. A trank wall. Oh, so... We'll get a new operation every now and then? Samson is moving up in the world. Of course. It's randomly getting so high up there. Even because he wasn't even in the Templar Order. Yes. By the time Corypheus came did. around and all that. Did this change? Sarah's Cabinet of Wonder Whose It Was. Oh, Sarah's Cabinet of Wonder Whose It Was. Delivered. One cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities and resources should be spent on such things. It's the same one. I think. Yeah. She can keep staying there. You're certain. I... I'm pretty sure we looked at this one too. Archery contest. Right. That's why. It's just what I heard. Your worship. Hey Krem, are you uh I feel like we've asked these already. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies, get an idea about the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. Okay, fantastic. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? Had one noble whose rival had been told by a fortune teller that her death would come on feathered wings. 
The noble sent us after the rival. Not assassination, legal and everything, but we had to wear feathers. <laughs> we sewed them into shirts over our armor. Should have seen the chief all feathered up like the cock of the walk. Ended up retreating after all that. The rival choked to death a year later on a chicken bone. Damn, strange way how the world comes around like that. <laughs> we'll talk later. <gasps> Although I would have loved to see a picture of that. Ah, oh, Scout Haven ruins. I see. Your worship. People that we should talk to once in a while, they they'll give us operations. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. Okay. We'll talk later. Iron Bull. Hey, boss. Huh. Nothing? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. I'd love to get to Have know Iron Bull otherwise? a little bit more. It's just what I heard. Cassandra. Stefan finally died. It was a blessing, really. He's been in so much pain since Haven. He was out of his mind at the end. He smiled. He said he smelled his mother's turnip stew. Mm. It slipped away. The burning turnip stuff, right? With coal? So next time we go back to him, we can ask him about that. Cassandra, I won't ask about your brother, don't worry. I know you probably want me to do the stuff that you asked me to do first, and then you'll tell me about your brother. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. You don't think he's just dead? Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow, yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Yeah. Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Yes. It would be good to know where the Seekers stand anyway. Okay. I... <laughs> I wish I talked to Sarah first before you brought me back here, because now I gotta walk all the way back over to Sarah. Oh, I gotta check my seeds! I haven't checked my seeds yet! Hold up! How's my inventory looking? Okay. 30. Hey, how are you doing? Lord uh, Stone Mad Inquisitor. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. No. You finish one. Who That's better, it. right? A good dwarven perspective. <laughs> Thank Another you. time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. My seeds are harvestable. Yes, thank you. Whoa, we got like a gigantic nothing here? Wait. Has that just been nothing? Elf fruit. It's rash vine. That's what it is. Oh, for the common stuff, I'm kind of like, whatever. If we have rare stuff, though, then this will be useful. Yeah, like, who cares about the common stuff, really? Rash fine, I guess we don't see enough of. Elf root, we always need. We don't have any of the rare ones. None. None whatsoever. Elf root always in high demand. Are you actually... 
Ugh, why does it always just have a check mark like that? I have no idea. Are you done? I can't tell? Because your thing isn't- it doesn't look the same. Oh god, what the hell? The mushroom- <gasps> There's like a- is that a whole spider on there? What is that? Ew. That's nasty. Primarily offensive. That's just how the deep mushrooms look. Kind of gross. That's just how they look though, apparently. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Is this gonna go? No, 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 we gotta... Ah, uh, this is so finicky. But none of this is, like, truly super important right this moment. Okay. I think we're good here. So let's... Oh, Mother Giselle walks over here as well. We will travel to where... Where is Sarah? Cassandra, Sarah, Sarah... Wait, Sarah, you're where Krem was? Really? I didn't see you. Oh, are you in your little room? Were you inside? I didn't even go inside because I didn't think you'd be inside. Hey, Scout Harding! Going well, I hope. Yeah. I think we asked those already, right? Shouldn't you be out there, scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> of course. So, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. this, I think. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that thing out there. Right, right, right. She wanted to travel. What's been going on? They've done a lot with this place. I'm impressed. Have they? Take care. All we did was fix up the garden, pretty much. Alrighty. Sarah. <laughs> we'll make good use of it. Singing right about Sarah. Oh, were you standing right here before? Hey you, I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? <laughs> what are you gonna make us do first? I can't promise anything. We need every resource for the task at hand. Everything has to have a purpose, right? Well, don't worry, this will too. It's a Red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? It should be a culling kind of thing. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Hmm, that's not half bad logic. Who's asking for this? I'm asking, because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger than normal, I guess, because we both... Never mind. Because <laughs> we're both knife ears. <laughs> sure. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Yeah, it could be a brand new arsehole. We don't have to just care about the ancient ones. Another operation. Demon armies and wardens, and Varric has exactly who we need. The big talker just knows everything. Hmm. <laughs> that's a little- what, what? How come Sarah is the only person we can just kick out of here? It doesn't seem like that's a thing with anybody else. Uh, 
I want some light flirting, okay? But I... <laughs> That's a really hard... That wording is really hard. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The praying's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Shite. Corypheus. 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 Sack splash. I know his name. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? Yeah, that's fine. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people. Right, which ones? All the ones. Who haven't we asked about? Thoughts on Iron Bull. Oh no, uh, we asked you. It makes me wonder <laughs> about things. I mean, what do their women look like? Woof. Okay, th thank you. Thank you, Sarah, for your opinion. I think we asked about everybody already, except for Cole. What about Cole? I'm not saying nothing about that. That thing is just wrong. Hey, you guys live in the same building. Be nice. And don't... <laughs> that thing has a name. <laughs> what do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And Cullen. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. <laughs> nice chair, Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. I like your dig. It's very stylish. I'm still mad we can't walk out here. Would have been such a good one. Alright. I believe that would be good enough for now. So why don't we just go back to the war table and... Yeah, let's get to the... The thing with the stuff. Did we go through this door, by the way? I feel like I've never opened it. Oh, it's like the, the smiths. That's important. Not much to actually do in here, but this is where things are getting done. Actually, this building has quite a few floors. No, oh, there's nothing here. Really? Is this where Cassandra was roughing Varric up? Looks a little bit like it vaguely. I understand if resources cannot be spared to help search for the missing seekers, Inquisitor. Still, it could involve a threat we are unaware of. There may be a use in looking. I will, I will look. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? I I've gotta shoot my shot. Tell me about your brother. I... Damn it. Would prefer not to speak of Anthony. Another time, perhaps. Okay. I'll let you get back to work. All right, let's go to the Western approach. Why don't we? Is it this one? I think we have a prisoner waiting for us. The mayor, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll come back and deal with that. Let him sit there for a little bit. Don't make him feel like I'm prioritizing him. They're the ones waiting for me. So busy. Thank you for that. All right. There needs to be... Could we have fast travel directly into the building? Maybe I missed one. Yeah, there was one right there. I should have used that one. Worship. Hello, everyone. Let's go. War table time. We will... It's here, right? Here lies the Abyss. The Grey Wardens are all hearing the calling and believe they have little time before succumbing th to their corruption. A number of panicked Wardens are gathering in the Western Approach for reasons unknown. All of our previous things should have finished as well. So let's take a look at that. Judgment, magic used in Redcliffe. Inquisitor, here are the results of my research. I trust they're satisfactory. Your spy master says you might let me stroll around without my shackles if they please you, but sing no false praise on my account. Garion Alexius, enhanced cooldown amulet. Eh, alright, thanks I guess. There's a whole bunch over here. To serve any master? That was simpler than I would have hoped. 
The Imperial Counting House clerks were so shocked to have been discovered and so fearful of being found out, they all but swore their loyalty to the Inquisition on the spot. My agents say they are behaving themselves so far. Indeed, they sent gifts for you to prove their good faith, but we will watch them closely nevertheless. In the meantime, any efforts we make to gather Quinn and Skyhold will undoubtedly benefit from their placement. Sigil of Lyrium. I don't even remember what the beginning of this one was, but eh, it looks like we're doing fine. Expose the double agent. Oh, Liliana's double agent thing. Oh, okay, this one I do remember. Correspondence to Colin from Lieutenant Kestrel. Commander, we were able to track down the Red Templars and put an end to their activities. We supplied their former prisoners so they might make their way home. From Mother Giselle. We will conduct prayers for our soldiers and the kind sisters who lost their way through the frostbacks. May they find peace at the Maker's right hand. I'm sorry, everyone. Mm. Locate the missing seekers. Liliana or Josephine? The attack on Haven showed that Corypheus corrupted and controlled the Templar Order. This should have been impossible under the watch of her fellow Seekers, but they, and particularly Lord Seeker Lucius, are nowhere to be found. Have they vanished, or, as Cassandra believes, was something done to them? With effort, the truth may come to light. Even on the Templar path, we have no idea what really happened to the Lord Seeker. Because uh, the one that we saw was an imposter, but then the real one, I assume he's dead, but maybe, maybe not? Seekers have many secret hideaways, according to Cassandra. Liliana can look there. Someone must have seen these Seekers, or given them the safe harbor. Entice them with a reward. I'll just go Liliana. Let's see what we have. Of course, Cassandra gets priority dibs on the missions. Patrol for the crew. Report in Cullen's hand. We've had a request for some general patrols. It is heartening that we're being looked to in this way, but I doubt we'd find any activity directly related to Corypheus. And our resources are better sent elsewhere. The request was in the same region as the bandits reported by the Sutherland lad. Perhaps we should extend his duties? So we're not going. We're just sending Sutherland. He'll have minor sanction to request sources for patrols. That's fine. Inquisitor. That's Sarah's thing, right? So we need one more for Josephine. Oh! Exposing needs a certain person. Josephine. Probably not scouting Haven Ruins. Send some chargers. Oh, that this might be okay, actually. Oh. Inquisitor, per our conversation, I would like permission to send some of the chargers to Haven. Our goal is to find any gear lost in Corypheus' attack. Check for enemy stragglers and bring in refugees who have not yet found Skyhold. From Krem. The only way... Wait, so normally Liliana can't do this. It's Cullen or Josephine. Bring a bunch of soldiers over there. I don't think there's anybody in Haven. There shouldn't be. The only way we'll bring in refugees is through our allies in Ferelden. After Haven, they are more than willing to help. Okay. It's a little long. Let us begin. Okay. Now the western approach is in Orlais, right? It's here. Commander Cullen, our scouts confirmed the Inquisitor's report. A large force of Grey Wardens has moved into the western approach. We need to establish a foothold out there immediately. Knight Captain Rylan. Yes. Grey Wardens, I still feel like we should bring Blackwall at least. Maybe not Varric anymore. Scout, I mean, uh... Yeah, this party, I I, I want to bring the people relevant because Hawk will be here. I want to bring Varric for Hawk. But mage-wise, let's bring Vivienne, it's been a while. Yeah, but I, I am aware that we've been bringing the same people, but it's just that it's the same mission. That's why. It's still the same picks. Visitor, welcome to the Western Approach. We've cited Warden activity to the Southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. High short, dragon? This might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Maybe I should have brought Sarah after all. Whew. Are you worried about me? Someone has to be. 
And try not to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. That dangerous of a place? That's not reassuring. I think this time we can go straight to where the Wardens are. Yeah, because this is just continuing the previous one. I'll hit the camps along the way, but everything else I'll do it afterwards. And we need Varric. It looks like we'll need Varric. Oh, Black Wall as well. Okay, I'll hit I'll hit the, a few of these along the way. We can get going. The Venatori thing? Intercepted Venatori message. Octavian. With our allies, the Templars redeploying and abandoning their mine in the canyons, we will now focus our efforts on the excavations and the summoning attempts. Go and have a word with our White Claw associates. I'll be sending further resources your way. White Claw? More stuff we don't know about? Ooh, it's been a while. See, for Vivian, three whole points. She basically finished the ice tree. Night Enchanter, whether it's high fashion or the battlefield, Vivian prefers to be at the forefront and in control of everything around her. She will personally see order restored by the blade, if necessary. Spirit Blade. Solid blade of magic. Dealing damage with other abilities charges the blade. We'll see how you go with that. Didn't really take you for the going in to have a melee kind of thing, Vivienne? Combat Clarity. Your mana regenerates faster when you're near hostile enemies. Wow. Fade Cloak. Briefly invulnerable. Yeah, it's just, it's just like Wind's thingy, right? Resurgence. Ah! Not yet. Call on benign spirits to restore you. Ooh. Oh, hold on. This one's really good. In fact, I'm probably going to do that instead. Just so we can have that there. Alright, so whenever we're in super trouble, we can go activate the if you have a thing. Moment. I do not have a moment. I don't have time. Yes, sir. Sorry. Vivian looks like this now. She... I wish we could give her her little hat. Oh well. Alright. Oh wow, that... Did we set up camp in the right place? Is this really where we wanted to be? Let's go in. That's a gigantic... Rage demon. Whoa. Damn, black wall. Dispel that crap. Oh, but the rage demon... <laughs> It won't work. The immolate isn't gonna do too much. I can do one, Vivian. Oh, she doesn't have anything. That's fine. Get all of them. Whoa, who are you going towards? Vivian? There's multiple of these guys. Oh! Vivian doing good work! Look at them! Oh! Cut that out. Not too bad. We'll be fine here. Good. Terror Talons. Like I said, let's focus on the stuff we need. There's some red lyrium here. This is strange. Why didn't they take the cargo with the carts? Should we be on guard? Huh. There's just random stuff here, and some carts. Weird. But it didn't seem like we could have found out more about that. The red lyrium is around? Oh, it's like a desert this time. Which I feel like I still prefer to the rains and all that. Oh, you guys have level ups too. Artificer. 
Hail of Arrows. Oh, you have it already? Opportunity kicks. Reduce cooldown times. Okay. That's fine. Black Wall Champion. Counter Strike. Push yourself to the limit. Okay, but I feel like because I like I don't actually have that many bars to use these abilities with. Taunting all nearby enemies. Automatically counter all melee attacks. That's crazy though. But I'm gonna get the passive ones first. Wait, did I not do you already? Wait, you just got a point? Wow. That quickly? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. The red Lyrium is around here, but not on the same elevation? This is going back... Oh! Lord, no. I don't think... Yeah, this is going back to where the, the cargo stuff is. That seems like it's the um, wrong thing. Weird. So that's a new challenge for traversing this place then. It looks like things are close by, but not quite. I don't think there's a... There's anything... Yeah, this is it. This is it. Maybe I'll go... The other way? Death Root. That's new. Back to the camp again, but if we go this way instead, will we... I don't think we'll get anywhere. Oh, how do I get there? I still haven't figured out how to get around to where the Red Lyrium is, but we're getting further and further away now. Is that just how this is? Maybe we have to go around there from some other location? More carts here. Someone's been busy. Let's find them, shall we? Is someone being harassed here? Package label, property of Frederick of Seralt, University of Orlais. Ship to Frederick of Seralt. Who in Andraste's name would be out in this desert? Aside from us. What happened here? Nobody should be out here but Grey Wardens. Something's very wrong. And the ravens keep coming by too. Look at the blood here. Is whatever's happening inside this cave? We should take a look. Oh. Oh, there's two caves. Ghoul's beard. That's also new. Sand rock mine. I'll go in this one first because it's right here. I think it's the same one, but two different entrances. Oh, we got enough for the night enchanter stuff. Oh. Spiders, go home. Burn them. Poison spiders. Not even just normal spiders. Oh, what the hell? Who the hell are you? There's a hyena here. Just burn them all up. Are you guys good? I haven't been casting barriers. Does Vivian know how to cast barrier? I don't remember. She doesn't. Does she? I think she might. Sort of got ambushed right here at the entrance. Oh, there's red lyrium. Oh, it's right here. One is right here. No from a Templar. Benedict. Pull up stakes. All plans for the mine and the western approach are off. The Inquisition's on the move and headed your way. Dump all the bodies and relocate to Ampre de Leon. Vernon. Oh, so if we keep tracing this thread... Whoever did this should pay. Then we want to go to the other place next, right? Maybe. Varric is happy. Meanwhile, I'm not, because random spiders are attacking us. At least we're not dropping from, like, the middle of the sky, though. Templar Command Shield. Better than what you have? 
block wall. No. Garbage, pretty much. Maybe if we keep going in this cave, we'll get to the other lyrium bit as well. Oh, some new elements that we hadn't seen before here. Uh, can we get up there? Oh, we got ghouls, beard seeds. That's new. But yeah, look, we're getting further and further away, though. Doesn't seem like that's the case either. Did we get that one? How do we get on the top portion? Go up here? Okay. There might not be much going on here anyway. Just stuff. Hmm? Some attacking going on somewhere. Oh. Maybe this cave actually doesn't lead to the other entrance? This is another one. Right, we ended up elsewhere. What the heck? Oh, whoa! What on earth? That's super exciting, but I feel like we're getting off track already. Going to the Grey Wardens and all that. But you can't show me this and expect me to not investigate it, okay? It's just... It's right here. There's a whole fortress. Basically. So let's check it out. There's people here. Bad people. There's a barrier. Is it the Venatori? Have they not moved yet? Can't tell who they are. Manifest. Second shipment of artifacts for Griffin Wingkeep. Three staffs, properties unknown. One vessel for bloodletting. Six damaged tomes of varying degrees of legibility. Remains of Illyrium sensor. Delivered to the keep at once. Service will see the more functional items passed on to Calpurnia. Venatori. You guys ready? Let's go! Dude with a shield. Oh yeah, check that out. Mark of the rift right in the middle as well. Look at that. They have a spell... Get them all. Easy peasy. Now what were you guys doing here? I can dispel this, can't I? No? What's the opposite spell you're looking for? Fire. Oh, good thing for my emulate not needing cooldown. Did they honestly think that would keep us out? Wait, we gotta keep going. People are right here. These people are level 13. A Devinter Relic Hunt. Alright. We stumbled upon something else. A preserved note. A preserved letter found on the body of a messenger. Baloran. You were right to doubt. Heladius would not be swayed. If this letter was sent, then it is sealed. Send aid. Sarpedon. A lot of a lot of stuff going on here, but this is part of the um, the operations. Well, I mean, we've kind of fell into it. It's so easy to get distracted. Assault on Griffin Wing Keep. Capture the keep. Is it where we are right now? Frederick. No, it's this one. Stop the Venatori. A group of Venatori are raiding the still ruins. Whatever lies inside was important enough to protect with a barrier. So we'll get it. We'll steal it from right under them. Written note. Morvin. Alexius has failed. The work here thus becomes all the more vital. Secure the sites at all costs. The Elder One will not tolerate another mistake on our part. Service. Okay, so this is actually relevant then, because in a way we're still stopping the um, Elder One and all that. Might be even more relevant than just chasing down the Wardens. Fair enough. Let's check it out.
Oh, every- That's why they call it the Still Ruins. The Still Ruins. Damn it. Crestwood is a small village of no real consequence of the lords and ladies who ride through on their way to Valroyo or Denerim. Have I not read this? Oh, it's probably because stuff got added later on. No, we read this one. Ah, this is new. Three trout pond hides a sinkhole hundreds of yards deep. Darkspawn emerged from this and other caves to attack Crestwood during the Blight. The flood that destroyed Old Crestwood drowned the Blighted Ones, and the excess water created the pond we see today. Had the dam not been damaged, we would never have survived the Darkspawn. Was the Maker's hand in this? I cannot believe he would be so purposefully cruel to his children. Right. Oh, it just added on. We read that as well. No, I'm here for Still Runes. Still Runes. Yes, it should be this one, right? 24 Harvest Mirror. A pair of hunters arrived today from the Western Approach. They carried a third between them, unconscious. The hunters found the man wandering the approach. He collapsed at their feet before they could learn his identity. The rough stories you hear, I'm surprised they didn't slit his throat and call it mercy. Instead, they lay him alongside their prizes and took him from that place. Cerise forced him to swallow water with a mixture of herbs. Elaine says he will show me how to make it tomorrow. Elaine? Is this the Circle Tower? Elaine? Kind of remember that name. Two days later. Cerise and Elaine left the patient to my care. They believe the man will die, so what harm could I do? Still, I prepare the herbs with care. I do what I can to make him comfortable. The man murmurs in his sleep. Something about there being no wind. I open the window, but the air is chill, and I fear it would weaken him. Sometime later, next month? So like a week later? My patient opened his eyes. Vargas took the rest, then I found it. Everything so still. There was no wind. He seemed quite intent. In the western approach? I asked. Oh, a soldier. This last about the figurine I placed on his bedside table for Saturnalia. Foolish, but I thought it might cheer him. Got scared by the soldier figurine. Three days later, my patient took a simple meal. Speaking worries him, but he tried. Everything was so still. There was no wind. I told him that sounded peaceful. His eyes widened in fear. The demons were still in there. I tried to comfort him, but he was desperate to explain the disturbing images in his mind. Later, I saw him staring at the little soldier. They couldn't move, he murmured. I said I could take the toy away, but he shook his head. About two weeks later, Cerise and Elaine declared my patient well enough to travel. He left before I returned from visiting my sister. I suspect his still ruins were a delusion brought on by his trials in the approach, but I will never know. I wish I could have said goodbye. Cerise says he took the soldier with him, perhaps as a comfort after all. Journal of Nicolette Envers, a healer's apprentice. Um, still ruins? It's... yeah. I think you have to see it to understand it, just looking at this here. I am indeed upon you. Oh. Oh, we got we gotta have proper synergy with our people. Blackwall pulled the guy over, which made Vivienne's thing miss. Barriers, barriers. These are are these just mages? That's Dark Spawn. Wait, look at the skin on this guy, though. Like, he doesn't look like a statue. This is a frozen person. Oh! Oh, there's some weird time magic stuff going on. Maybe a variant? Where time is paused? Oh, this is dangerous. Let's get to the bottom of this. Venatory Orders. A short letter accompanied by a map of the Western Approach. Several areas have been circled. Lucanus. The references are obscure, but they point to a single power, sealed at the height of the Old Empire. Devinter's involvement in the region predates the First Blight. Detailed accounts of the location are non-existent, but there are some promising leads. You will be provided with men and supplies. Do not return empty-handed. They came here to look for something on purpose. Whatever that thing is... I mean, this ruin, the, this location here seems pretty suspicious. 
There's traces of red lyrium. Is this red lyrium related as well? That's like a terror. The rift. On the bright side, they're not moving. Yeah, there's time magic here. If we disable the time magic, it means everyone's gonna start moving. Right? Well, everyone get ready then. Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. The power required for such a spell would be immense. Time-altering magic. Let's hope this proves less trying than Redcliffe. To sustain time magic, mana is currently still being used by somebody somewhere? Or is it more of a one-time thing? Because if it's still ongoing, that's crazy. Nothing's happening. The magic here is interfering with the anchor. Oh, I can't touch it? Nothing's happening. The magic here is interfering with the anchor. We can't seal it because time is stopped. We have to resume time somehow first, and then we can close the rift. Probably for the better, seeing as how there's a lot of frozen people here. Did this happen recently? Oh, this place is weird. Or legion soldiers? Who? Who are you? Traces of red lyrium everywhere. I'm not sure if it's a good thing that we found this little temple place or not. But it was called- the name is called Still Ruins, so it's been like this for a while. People who found it named it like this. And people did not just find it two seconds ago. It's trees. Hall of Silence. Doesn't sound very silent. Sigil of the Nug. Oh my god, minus 25 attack? That's crazy. It really doesn't sound silent. Griffins? Are those griffins? Check out what's going on on this side. Lock the way. Fair enough. Varric? Good thing we brought Varric today. Oh. Yay, more mosaic pieces. How did we find five already? Five here in the western approach? That's a lot. Good supplies. Responsible blood magic. Let me correct you, apprentice. While it is true that blood magic is woven through the history of Tevinter, there are good reasons, quite aside from the Chantry sermons, that such arts are now frowned upon. Consider the ancient magisters who once attempted to map the fate itself. A worthy goal, perhaps, but a costly one. When their spells exhausted their illyrium supply, the magisters spilled the blood of countless slaves. To what end? The shifting nature of the Fade made the effort futile, and so much death left the Magisters open to possession by demons. Wasteful. Some still idolize Terena of the Rock, who used blood magic against the Kunari during the Steel Age. They say she cut her flesh on the shore of Marnus Pell as the Dreadnought sailed in, turned her spells against their crews, and boiled the very blood in their veins. A terrifying display, to be sure, but against Kunari? It only made them more determined when they besieged the ports of Karastus. And what of Magister Calanthus, that fool who believed he could make himself the Ascended Man with blood magic? Thirty-three slaves died in that rite, and Calanthus became an abomination so horrific, his apprentices tore out their eyes at the sight of him. You quote the example of the lovers Crescens and Seraphinian. 
Yes, Serafinian offered his own blood to cure Crescens of her wasting disease, and Crescens lived a long life. But if the noblest use of blood magic still calls for the death of a good man, is that not enough reason to reconsider? A Tevinter Magister against blood magic? Depends on how much you want something to happen, I guess. If you have something you really want to get done, some people will turn to it. Dragon statues and whatnot. Was this a Tevinter ruins then? They said that in the beginning somewhere, right? And that's why, wow, this place. So I guess that probably means no one is actively maintaining the state of time stoppage. That would have been a lot of mana, which I don't think anyone is doing. All of silence again. It's ringing. You know what the ringing reminds me of? Red Lyrium. It always has that little ringing sound. Cages. Are we ready? The texts describe a chamber. This must be it. There's people here. Like walking people. Let's get them all first. Get them all in the middle there. <laughs> Chill them and then immolate them in the same breath. Oh! Lord. Just get them all. I'm dying, they're hitting me. Good enough? This person has a... Wait! Lucanus is right here. I didn't realize it was a... Like a boss battle. There was a boss in there. He was carrying this stone for a reason. Keep searching. There may be more. So that was the Venatori guy. Who was coming in here? And now we're just left looking around for the rest of this place. Oh. Keystones. I'll find you. No wonder I was almost dying. Oh, same business then. We gotta collect the stuff and it's like the, um, the Temple of Pride all over again. It's floating. Oops. Will you put your shield down? The light glinting off it pierces my eyes. Says the woman encrusted in crystals. They are fine quality crystals. They don't pierce your eyes because you're not looking at yourself, but everyone has to be forced to look at you. If stuff becomes unfrozen later on, that's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of people. Research notes. A few hastily written notes in with increasingly perplexing diagrams. Blood to start, then from the channel itself. The slave trader had six strong enough for the task. Preparations are in place. Sarpedon will call one final meeting. I must speak to the others in advance. Oh, they had a good base set up already. Research notes. Disturbing diagrams followed by a personal note. Sarpedon would cast doubt on our work here. I expect him no less. He is Baloran's man. If he thinks to deter me, he will not succeed. Who accomplished anything through such fretting and hesitance? Let him be placated by his pointless precautions. If he wishes to question the validity of my theories, perhaps he should look more closely at his own. But these notes were written recently, right? It wasn't from when the time stopped and all that. So they made it in here already, and they were just a step away from opening the temple. But I kind of beat them to it with collecting the keystones. But... 
Okay. I just took it. What did I take? Oh. Veil fire. Yet again? If they give me the option of having it, it probably means we need to use it somewhere. But where is that somewhere? We don't know. Complex diagrams. Theoretically, it should be possible to draw energy from the fate itself. While I will not discount the obvious dangers, such risks can be circumvented through the use of a proper channel. Once the channel is stable, we should be able to manipulate the energy to our will. The power gain would be beyond measure. At this time, theory will take us no further. If my hypothesis proves true, it will be an achievement unrivaled by any in history that will all but ensure the immortality of the Imperium. But everyone died. Everyone died trying to achieve this. Will I see it? Maybe it's where the entrance is? This place is pretty big. It's kind of hard to know where to bring this unless if I already know beforehand. Well, we'll see. Maybe we should heal up. I'm just saying. Yeah, we all good? You guys are goodish. Oh. A staff? Is this what they were after? It may be bound to whatever magic was used here. Oh. No one's actively casting the spell, but because the staff is here, the place is still frozen. Should we touch that? That seems very demonic. Journal on certain experiments. The journal lies open on its final entry. Heladius ignores all results that do not support his own hypotheses, brushing them off as anomalies and expected deviations. He posits that there will be an acceleration in the channel's creation, and will no doubt test the theory without guaranteeing a secure channel can even be maintained. I've argued the inherent risks, the catastrophic tear in the veil that will result from such foolishness, but he has the others convinced. He grants only a sneering permission to conduct countermeasures in the event of failure. If I am correct, the only course of action will be to redirect the resulting power into sealing the event itself. The odds of survival are less than ideal, but the surrounding lands will be preserved. Ah, it's this! A weapon enchantment, and a good one by the look of it. Oh, we can get schematics by using the Veilfire too. Okay. Should we take it then? Tempest. It's... Ooh, masterwork. Oh, what? <laughs> what a bummer. What a freaking bummer. I knew I should have cleared my inventory before coming here. Archmage. Ooh, this is getting pretty good, actually. Vivian might want this one. And then the other crap. No, 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 use it. But it decreases her health, her constitution, because this one has a constitution thing. And this one has the, the grips. Oh, forget about the grips. Whatever, we'll make new ones back home. Oh, but she's not level 14 yet. Okay. All right, fine. I am just gonna probably... You know what? Just destroy this. Is that okay? It's just crappy little staff. We need to go back. Yeah, we need to find a merchant somewhere because this is... We're not going to be able to continue. Oh! Careful! <gasps> I think time's flowing again. That's not what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Can we at least make use of it? Tempest. It's much better than what I have. Level 12. The Lady of the Skies reigns over the sky and the dead, and the Avar lay up bodies to her, to be buried in the air itself. The ice and snow are her gifts, defending her people from invaders, and her protective rage is merciless. This is significantly better than what I'm using. In every way. Leave it to the Inquisitor to always use the most dodgy, forbidden weapons. <laughs> this is the story about how the, um, the senior Templars get the good stuff again. <laughs> I'm the senior Inquisitor. I get the good stuff, okay? Oh my god, okay. Maybe we should funnel them into the this little bottleneck here, huh? Ooh! 
Nice, Vivian. That was like a lightsaber. Can we funnel them here? I don't think so. Because they're waiting. Let's not walk too far. Just take it slow. Step by step. Yeah, look, there's more. You want to come or what? They are getting me. Ow! Wow, that's a big hit! Well, the way the shades look, they kind of look like the Tevinter Magister look too. The Corypheus look. And okay, we need to be a little bit careful about chugging the potions too early. We don't have that many. We don't have that much left. Blackwall? Come walk in front of me. We know there are a lot of people who are frozen, okay? Yeah. Hurry, before this gets worse. Worse than this? I know, right? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Give him a barrier again. The spare demons. Oh, shoot! Oh, no! <laughs> I accidentally pressed quick load just now when I meant to take a potion because potion was on 9 and quick load was F9. <laughs> Let me get back to where I was. Hurry, before this gets worse. Worse than this? I know. A bit unbelievable. Thank you, Vivian. Got a nice static Cajun, though. Make sure our people are protected. Whoa, who's flying across? Oh my gosh. Get back here. Don't try to leave. Who else is here? I don't think I can get both. Vivian doesn't have... I might not be able to check in the middle here. Yeah, she just has barrier. That's fine. Getting one is still better than getting none. Okay, Vivian can take her own potions. That's good. Get that crap. You alright? Is she alright? What's happening to her? People are focusing on her because Black Wall is nowhere near. Vivian is taking all of our potions. We gotta be careful. Wait, who has the barrier? Good enough. Does that mean we're good? Ah, it's done. That's enough demons for one day, frozen or otherwise. Just the Vivian kind of frozen is fine. Oh, God. Silk scarf, what even is that? That doesn't look like a silk scarf, that looks like some creepy mummy. Mmm, we need to go back and do some inventory management, just thinking about where the easiest spot for us to do that would be. What's crappy here? Just destroy something. Yeah, that's crappy. We don't want it. Can we leave then? Oh, Solus's thingy? Dreamer rags. Didn't even see that while walking in. Exit to the western approach. And that would be it for now, right? Barrier's gone. Place is... Okay. It's doing better. Investigate ancient laboratory operation. 
I am going to... Yeah, I'm gonna go back, probably to Skyhold, sell some stuff, clear out my inventory, because I don't think there's a merchant here. Not that we know of. I'll do that, and we'll be right back here again.